Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about simplify rational expressions. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. So what is a rational expression? Well, so far, we've learned what polynomials are. So a rational expression is when we have a quotient of two polynomial functions, basically divisions, okay, in a fraction. Okay. So let's go through an example and we can see one here. So we have x squared minus 9 over x squared plus 4x plus 3. And as you can see, we have two polynomial functions, one in the numerator, one in the denominator, and they're basically being divided by each other, right? Hence the numerator and denominator. And so we're going to simplify the rational expressions, okay? So the first thing we want to see is, is there a way to factor the numerator and denominator, okay? Well, the numerator, we can factor, right? We've practiced this skill before. And, well, we see we have x squared minus 9, okay? And notice that, well, this is like a... Um, a, we what two numbers right multiply to be negative nine but add to be zero the b value that's not there well that'd be a positive three and minus three so we have plus three and a minus three three times negative three is a negative nine but three plus a negative three zero there's nothing there for our b value denominator same thing can we factor this out what two numbers multiply to be three but add to be four okay so what two numbers Multiply to be 3, but add to be 4, and that's 1 and 3. 1 times 3 is 3. 1 plus 3 is 4. So now we have the same expression. I'm going to put an arrow here. Same expression as written before, but notice that we have the numerator and denominator factor. And this allows us to eliminate some parts here, simplify what we're trying to go for. We see an x plus 3 in the denominator and an x plus 3 in the numerator. They will cancel each other out, and so what we're left with is just an x minus 3 in the numerator and an x plus 1 in the denominator, which again, you can write, which most people do, it's just x minus 3 over x plus 1, and not have the parentheses there, okay? So now you know the basics of how to simplify rational expressions with an example. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button down below and subscribe to our channel. That helps us make more videos for viewers like you. And as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help, you use minute math.